my dear friends. Here we have today with us our honored guest, Michnia Voiku. Hello, Michnia. Hello there. Hi. Hello from Beijing. How's it going? Thank you. Everything is fine. Perfect here in Montreal, Canada. And today, in another episode of Challenge per Perspectives, we're going to compare or to draw parallels between Aikido and Tai Chi. I think it's going to be a great topic because we, you know so much about Tai Chi. I have some experience in Aikido and we're going to share our experiences and talk about our understanding of these martial arts. But I think it's important to make an important mention at the beginning. We're not trying to decide which one is better. We're not trying to decide uh, which one is more superior, right? We're just presenting our opinions. Agreed? I agree, I agree. I don't think there's a term of better. That's uh, mm. also a term could be of just presenting it and finding similarities, which are many, and also see what benefits they bring us and how they can, I mean, all of them, they are part of the whole. Aikido, Tai Chi, yoga, they complete each other. If we extract one of them, it will act as a whole, but all together they complete us. So it's good to experience them. And eventually if we decide to practice one or the other, it, it can lead us, it can take us to the same path. Of self All right, that sounds great. And uh, joining union with life, because Tai Chi, the very thing, is Tai Chi was inspired by life, was inspired by the Taoist uh, theories, by the Taoist concept of going with the flow. From there, it mm. seems that Tai Chi was born. Tai Chi was- All right. A... So yeah. let's actually, let's start by defining what do we understand by Tai Chi? and by Aikido. So what is your definition, your operational definition, your understanding of the term Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan? <laughs> yes, I was, I was having some uh, dialogues with my friends from Twitter when I said that the Tai Chi, it's actually translated as a supreme fighting style, supreme martial art. And I said, it goes beyond fighting. That doesn't mean that Tai Chi method is better, as you said, than another martial arts. Uh, they are much stronger, maybe, but Tai Chi just goes beyond. So we have to see that means Tai Chi uh, takes us to a place where we can see fighting differently, where we can see if I am to extend the concept of fighting to surviving differently. We can live, we, we now, we inherited this intelligence, our species, that combined with Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a learning method. It's a learning method about ourselves. So as we better know ourselves, we better know the world. So that's why I say this beyond fighting, because using Tai Chi, we don't really need to struggle to live a good life. This is my personal definition, I would say. I think your, your definition is very, at a conceptual level. And I, by just listening to you, I'm already learning so much about Tai Chi. For me, when people ask me, what is Aikido? What does Aikido mean to me? I usually like to explain the three characters, the three kanji characters that form the word Aikido. So we have the character Aikido. And the first character, I can be translated in English as harmony or unity. So from the start, people can have a feeling that Aikido is about harmony. And this sets, sets the stage for usually the next question, oh, who can win? Can I, can I win a fight if I learn Aikido, right? So Aikido is about harmony and unity. The second character is key. I think, it's a very easy translation as energy, but it, it can also be translated as spirit. 
and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the key in Aikido is the chi in, um, in Tai Chi Chuan. So we are talking about a, an inner energy and maybe an energy of the movement. And then Do is way, path. So Do is shared with other martial arts like um, Judo or even uh, arts like uh, calligraphy, Shudo, right? So Aikido then, if we put all these three words together, all these three characters together, it would come out as the way of harmonious spirit, or I call it the way of harmony, or even some, some suggest the way of unity with the spirit. And then what people understand by spirit is debatable, right? But to sure. me, Aikido is the way of harmony, simply exactly. explained. And so if one I looks at the to... character, if, if I, I am to ask one, one thing, so I read this explanation with uh, Tai Chi mentality, and I discovered the same basic idea which Tai Chi promotes, exactly the harmony being in unity with the opponent, as well as uniting energies, and though it comes from Tao, from yes. the Taoist definition of flow, life flow, going with the flow. So it's exactly the, it's exactly a parallel, um, Japanese parallel of Tai Chi, I guess. Not to mention that even the characters used in the kanji characters, the Japanese kanji characters are inspired by Chinese uh, characters. So I think there is a, a very, beautiful overlap and a mutual understanding of the concept between exactly. Tai Chi and Exactly, and yes, yes, I totally agree, I totally agree. And then, as you, you mentioned that someone asked you, who will win a fight? You see, in Kung Fu philosophy, there's no winner or loser. So people, when they understand this, they step further into wellness they do not stick with surviving anymore. They will understand that we do not have to dominate someone to, to continue on living, but we just have to be in harmony with everything. That's a win-win so, situation. So what would you say are the most important principles of Tai Chi? Hmm. There's eight principles, but they define the, the fighting technique. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to bring too much the fighting aspect. Fighting aspect, it came from the necessity of surviving on a battlefield at first because it was for the soldiers. And then it came from the necessity of surviving in, in daily life when life was different and the society was different. Nowadays, we do not go out to fight. We go out to live and to eventually improve our life. So I'd say the base principle, and then I will get to the definition of Tai Chi, which is called internal art. Internal art means that instead of using strength or instead of uh, struggling to, to fight to win, we use relaxation. We eventually, if we will be in a situation that we need to self-defend ourselves, then we will uh, use the instincts or the reactions of the opponent, speculating the moment, timing our actions perfectly to get out of the situation. And most of the Tai Chi techniques are in such a way made that we put down, we throw the, the, uh, the opponent. We do not harm them very badly, which is another principle of Aikido a basic Aikido, if I am to say. So as I said, the real principle of, of Tai Chi is to, to cultivate ourselves. This is the term that's used also in the Chinese uh, terminology. Tai Chi, it's an art of cultivating ourselves through relaxation, through mindfulness, through cultivating the body and the spirit and the intellect as well. All these principles, 
they will join into the three main energy points, which are called dantia, from the, the abdomen, the chest, and the head. So all this shows the unity of the body, mind, and spirit. This will be a, the, the real principle of Tai Chi. And this, it comes not only with learning theories or reading books, but with intense practice, with dedication, as I was saying in all my videos. Thank you. Yeah, I, I see a lot of overlap in, uh, in concepts and philosophy between Tai Chi and Aikido. For me, when I, when I talk about Aikido principles, I think of five main forms, principle ideas that lead to good practice and technique. And the first one is the concept of irimi, which means enter not turn your back and run away, but you enter the opponent's um, frame of reference and control that frame of reference rather than oppose it and, and block it. So the Irimi movement is the enter movement. We see this a lot in Aikido um, demonstrations when one opponent attack attacks and the person who defends himself or herself enters into the sphere of attack rather than blocking the attack. So that would be principle number one, ikimi, irimi, entering. The second one, and this is kind of funny because people don't know this, the second one is atemi, and atemi means strike. So we see in, a, in an Aikido demonstration that one, one person attacks the other person. So there are strikes in Aikido, but the focus is not necessarily on the strength and power of the strike, but rather how to learn to control and adapt to a striking element from an opponent or, or an enemy. The third one, and I think this is where there's a nice overlap with Tai Chi, is Kokyu Ho. Kokyu Ho means breathing. So everything that we do in Aikido must follow a breathing pattern. The movement forward, the, move, the circular movement uh, out or in inside an opponent's frame of reference is done through a controlled breathing. And this is something that I think it's very difficult to master because it's more than just a physical skill, you know? There ne you need a lot of practice to, to be able to control your breathing. So this, this, this would be number three. Number four, is the triangular principle also called Sankaku Ho. So basically in Aikido, you have a triangular stance. Yeah. The locks that you make on, on the opponent's arm or, 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 or wrist are, if you look at them carefully, they're all in a triangular shape. And if we think about it, all our wrists reach a, a, a point where you, you can't bend it anymore. And this is what Aikido tries to take advantage of, of controlling the opponent through a lock rather than breaking or hitting or punching the opponent. So, and this comes from the principle of Sankaku Ho, the triangular principle. And it's also a base, a stance that they believe it gives stability. And the last principle that I find important in Aikido is, and maybe this is the most beautiful one, is the Tenkan principle. Tenkan means turning. So the circular movements in our Aikido, we see all these motions in Aikido. And sometimes people don't understand why do you have to turn around and, and, and do these, uh, these motions and techniques? Well, I think they are embedded in the techniques and the concept of Aikido, like movement, stay in a movement, stay in a circular motion, within the frame of reference of your enemy. So I think these are the five principles of Aikido and maybe the most difficult one to understand would be the kokyuho, the breathing part. Like how do you control your breathing? How do you use your breathing both in technique, but how do you take this out of the dojo, out of the training facility? How do you use these principles in daily life? and maybe Kokyuho 
breathing is the most, the one that comes most to mind when you are in a stressful situation, you practice your Aikido breathing and hopefully you, you can, you know, overcome that situation. You relax, whatever comes, you are relaxed and you can face everything being relaxed and being in full control of yourself. This is a very principle of Tai Chi.